Now, let's say if I want to add an eye, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go create polygon primitive sphere. That will appear at the center of the scene. I'm going to go ahead and bring that up like this. I'm going to rotate that 90 degrees. So I'm going to start rotating it. Then I can see that I need to rotate it on X 90 degrees. Then I'll look at it from the side view. So like this. And I'm going to try to align it where the eye would be. So I'm going to kind of first kind of like think about the depth of the eye, if you will. And then this angle of the eye right here. Okay. Now once I have that, I'm going to trust that that's kind of the right location. Maybe it comes up a little bit. There we go. Then I can take that eye and I can go to mirror. You can see that we already have mirror on the shelf. And now I can right click and go to object mode. Whoop. And it looks like maybe it got turned, so I'm going to just make sure that that's rotated 90. There we go. And now I can see that like the pupil of the characters like looking at us. Okay. Now we have kind of even more of a hint as far as the positioning of the face. So I can maybe go into vertex mode. I can kind of grab this and I can even kind of pull that out a little bit more. And again, these hints or these clues that we have kind of like help, especially around the eye, really help to kind of give us um, depth and guidance for it. Like this may need to get pushed back a little bit more and trying to have kind of like, um, just make it make sense. Uh, I'm gonna call it the housing around the eye. So I could also go in with my sculpt geometry. So if I go into surfaces, sculpt geometry, and then double click on this, here's smooth. Again, B as in brush, kind of smooth this out a little bit. And then I can come here and I can kind of pull on this just ever so slightly. And if I need to push stuff in, I can come here and kind of push in. Again, looking at it from different angles. You can see that it looks like maybe this gets pushed in a little bit. And maybe B as in uh, basketball, B as in brush. I can kind of move this. I can also press the arrow keys, and you can see it will kind of, uh, once I have a vertex selected, I can press an arrow key, and it's going to kind of jump to a, a, di a different vertex. So that's kind of cool. So if I get to some areas where it's maybe hard to select. It looks like maybe smooth this out just a little bit more. And I feel like it's it's good to occasionally kind of stop and, and, and look at it kind of from a distance. Right click, go to object mode, click off it. And I can start to see um, how that face is looking. It looks like maybe a little kind of crease here. Maybe I'll take this vertex and kind of pull that out. And then also take this mesh display and soften edge. Sometimes it can make it look a little bit softer. Aha, there we go. Nice. Now what's nice about that is we've got kind of some eyes 
Uh, and again, it looks like they got moved, um, rotated. So I'm gonna, again, bring this back down to 90. Not sure why they keep moving. Um, yeah, that looks right. And now I can see that the eyes are in there. And what's cool about actually having different eye geometry is that if it moves, it can move um, independently. So I would wanna go like this, mesh separate. Now they're two separate eyes. And you can see that this one can kind of move. Um, we could also select both of them and they could both move. And this one, um, you'll see that if they both move, it's because the pivot point on that one was over here. I can just go to modify, center pivot, and now if I select both of these, now they'll move like that, and that's what I want. So obviously, if rigging the eyes, that would be important, but um, obviously as a modeler, we need to know how to kind of get that going. So um, excellent. Now I feel like our character's really coming together, um, really starting to look complete. Maybe a few more adjustments, and then we'll be completely done.